Before the height of Easycore in the 2010s, featuring bands like Set Your Goals, Four Year Strong, and A Day to Remember, there was a band that had been mixing pop, punk, hardcore, and breakdowns for years, and that band was Daggermouth. And now for a brief history of Easycore. Easycore is upbeat pop punk with breakdowns. It can have a darker tone, but Easycore, a play on the word hardcore, is mainly about funny song titles, having a good time, and partying. The term Easycore was first used in 2008 with the Easycore Tour, featuring Newfound Glory, A Day to Remember, Set Your Goals, Four Year Strong, Crime and Stereo, and the international superheroes of hardcore. Newfound Glory, A Day to Remember, Set Your Goals, Four Year Strong are the Mount Rushmore of Easycore, no question. Newfound Glory, of course, has been releasing music since 99, but the other bands there all started to release music around 05, 06. 2006 saw the first major Easycore record with a little album called Mutiny from Set Your Goals. Mutiny charted on two Billboard charts, 46 on independent albums and 47 on Heat Seekers. That same year, Daggermouth released their debut album, Stallone. Say you're sorry, I'm still Punk mixed with hardcore vibes sounds like your thing, then Stallone is the album for you. Daggermouth always swayed more hardcore than pop punk. They had more in common with Lifetime or Ladderman than Set Your Goals A Day to Remember or Blink 182, for example. Daggermouth would release their follow up only a year later with Turf Wars, which only expanded the band's blend of pop punk and hardcore. You better watch your fucking Daggermouth had everything Easy Core was known for. Long, funny song titles, the band is named after a joke and family guy after all, but the thing that made Daggermouth different from the other bands in the scene was their overall darker tone and the darker tone in their lyrics. While most, but not all, Easy Core bands had songs about falling in love, staying out late, and partying, Daggermouth songs focused on friends passing away, calling out the scene, suicide, and drug abuse. Let's look at some of the lyrics. From you do this as a fad, we do this as a lifestyle. In friends we trust, she's living through my memories. She'll never be forgotten by me. She was only 24 in a life cut unnecessarily short. And I wish I knew what you were going through because then I would have protected you. From too late, no friends. You call the cops on me and said, son, this is tough love. How could you do this? How could you do this to me? I'm so sorry. I'll never be the perfect son you always dreamt I'd be. From WrestleMania 5, Hulk Hogan vs Macho Man, winner gets Miss Elizabeth's love, the bullets in the gun, and yes I'm trying, to erase all the memories of you, but I'm dying. Daggermouth broke up in 08 and in a MySpace post lead singer Nick Leadlay said the band broke up for health reasons but would release one more album. The album was never released, but the band did release the instrumentals titled Fuck It Dude Unreleased Pre-Pro in 2011. Now I've listened to those instrumentals and they are great. It's sad we never got the lyrics put to the songs. Daggermouth would have been around in the mid-2010s, more people would have noticed. The scene went away from the funny, party-themed Easycore, and bands like Tidal Fight and Touche Amore were at their peak. The emo revival was right around the corner, and Daggermouth would have fit in more with that scene than the bands around 06 and 07. Whether they know it or not, a lot of bands took what Daggermouth did and improved on it, and I don't know if Daggermouth will ever get the credit they deserve, because the simple truth is, Daggermouth wasn't a massive band.
The band's albums are on Spotify, although they were re-released, so at least on Spotify they say they were released in 2017, which I imagine would be confusing to some fans, as old and new, but they were released in 06 and 07, and in 2016 the band did reunite, and in 2018 the band released a new song titled Ramen Noodle Doodle, but the band has been quiet ever since. What do you think of Daggermouth? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like and share the video, subscribe if you haven't, tell all your friends, and as always, Thanks for watching.